Your best year ever is here. I'm Coach Chantel and I am excited that we have been learning over the course of a couple of days about how to have your best year ever. We talked about celebrating your wins, the importance of self-care, and today we're going to discuss the importance of cataloging your stories. Many of you are coaches, you are speakers, or you are aspiring to be those things. Well, guess what? One of the keys to success is cataloging your stories. In this season of reality TV, people who will buy your products, who will commit to your services, are folks who want to identify with who you are. And the best way that people can identify with you is through your stories. In our, uh, in our training, the Legacy Project, my husband, my partner, and Wally and I, we have what's called the Triple P Formula. Now, the Triple P Formula is all about turning your pain into purpose in order to make a profit. That's right, pain, purpose, and profit. And I'm just gonna cover what that means. Your pain is a part of your story. I want you to begin to ask yourself, what trauma have I experienced that changed my life? What lessons did I learn from that trauma? What incidents or moments or conversations that I've had with people that made a fundamental impact on who I am and who I am becoming? When you identify those pain points, those teachable moments, you're able to um, really begin to develop a catalog by which when you're doing your live trainings, when you're shooting your videos, when you are speaking on stages, when you're having a conversation with the client, you're able to share those stories. My, for example, uh, one of the stories that I absolutely love sharing with people is the difference between setting goals and setting expectations. I remember when I learned this lesson and it literally changed my life. I was uh, 25 years old, just out of uh, graduate school, and I was absolutely lonely. I wanted to have a life partner, someone that I could say was my own. And I remember um, on my way to a business conference, my coach at the time said, Chantel, you don't go into these events without having expectations. And, you know, I was in a very, <laughs> very rude place in my life, I'll be honest. And I was like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I expect to meet my husband, right? With the whole neck winding and everything. And he, he said, you know, don't play, don't brush it off like it's just something that you're just saying. It may actually happen. And I promise less than 48 hours after that a conversation, I met my husband. And I knew exactly when I was speaking to that man with the funny accent that he belonged to me, right? And it's because I put the expectation out there that that's what I attracted. And the reason why the expectations are so important is because it puts the self, it puts the reliance off of you. So no longer are you being self-reliant, but you're being reliant on God. You see, goal settings, the challenge with that, and this is a whole nother lesson, but I'll just share it with you briefly. The, the challenge with goal setting is that it puts you in the driver's seat. Oh, I got to accomplish this task. Oh, I have this to-do list, et cetera, et cetera. But when you transform what it is that you want, what your desires are, and you place them in a bubble of expectations and you present them to God in prayer, in meditation, in conversation, with the Holy Spirit, then you're able to receive in a way that you wouldn't have been able to do if you were doing it alone. Okay, so that is the the beauty of you know understanding how your painful moments. So I took you from a pain point in my life where I was lonely and I wanted a husband, and I took you from that painful moment into a lesson. So that is how you build up your 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 attraction marketing, right? That's how you sell without selling to your clients is when you share with them your stories, right? And the best way to share your story is to identify what life lessons you've learned, what painful experience, what trauma you've had, and share it with them in a way that they can learn and, and benefit in their own lives, okay? So you must absolutely catalog your stories. And when you identify that pain, then you turn it into purpose. The reason why, you know, I thank God for experiencing that 
season of, of loneliness is because I'm now committed to helping other women find their spouse, right? If I was doing relationship coaching, that could be how I transform my pain into purpose. My purpose is to help others find their spouse, right? And so that is an essential element. That's the second most important um, aspect of cataloging your story. Talk about how your pain has allowed you to have a purpose, your why, your why that's so big that it makes you cry. And then finally, when you have those two bases covered, you can start making a profit. This is a, you're, what you're doing is a service. It is your calling. However, you absolutely must gain a profit from it, but you got to lay the foundation first. That's how people will love you. They will trust you and they will choose you every time. I'm Coach Chantel and I am excited that you are about to enter your best year ever. Take action on these strategies, apply them, apply them, and watch your breakthrough happen. Do you have a story that you want to share? Perhaps you've even thought about putting your story into a book. If so, visit thebestsellersacademy.com and let us help you go from blank page to bestseller.